Welcome everybody to my review of Call of Duty Vanguard. It did drop last night, midnight for me here in New York and of course today for everyone. Uh, before I get into it, do me a favor. If you like the content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button so you know whenever I put up new content. And uh, help me grow this channel. I'm getting tired of just having a little bit of people in here. So we're going to get into a game of team deathmatch here and i'm going to give you my thoughts on the entire game the multiplayer the campaign and of course um i'll also give you my thoughts on uh zombies <clears throat> we're about to go in team deathmatch you saw the operators there you have to unlock them just like you do in every Call of Duty. There's a lot of things in here that are similar to former Call of Duties in terms of operators, guns. Um, the weapons are different. We'll talk about that a little bit later. <coughs> um, there are some improvements from my last Call of Duty video. And the last Call of Duty video, of course, was on the beta. So we're going to go in with the MG42 LMG just because I like the uh, LMG. Time to fight like you mean it. And I can tell you, and you might be able to hear it. Uh, everything sounds a lot better than it did when the beta came out. <laughs> they still have some problems with audio in terms of. people walking um i mean it's not it hasn't gotten worse uh you can still hear people walking but it is still faint as we're in call of duty you can hear shit um in the beta here you can hear people walking um unless they have dead silence on or i mean i'm sorry yeah ninja on which is one of the perks i'm using Unless you have that on, uh, you can't hear them coming. <clears throat> I was mad. I didn't hit shit here. Um, so, my impressions right now, I can tell you the sounds of the. If you watch my last video of the beta um, and my impressions in the beta, I can tell you. I wasn't happy with the fact that you couldn't hear anybody walking, that the guns didn't sound very good at all. Um, you can hear from the gunplay. Um, the gun sounds, at least this one. Um, the assault rifles, in my opinion, still need some work. Um, I haven't tried any of the submachine guns yet, but the assault rifle needs some work. LMGs are fine. One thing that does piss me off about this game is I never really like using any stun grenades in any kind of Call of Duty, period. And this one is no different. As a matter of fact, this one's the worst one to use a stun grenade because it doesn't seem to do a goddamn fucking thing to, you, to anybody. Oh yeah, by the way, I swear in this shit, so if you don't like it, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Um, so stun grenades don't do shit. Now I'm wearing something that protects me from stun grenades and, um, you know, uh, from stun grenades and from gas, uh, the ass gas that they have in this game. <laughs> but... Stun grenades don't do anything, even for people who aren't using a perk. So that is problematic. Um, the grenades are okay. You have um, your regular frag grenades where you um, can cook them and then throw them. And kill people after. I know I'm saying I'm a lot, but 
I'm just doing this off the top of my head. There's no script to this, so. <coughs> Sue me. Um, no, don't. Because I ain't got shit to give. Um, they do still have problems with some visuals. Uh, they didn't make it better for you to see your enemies. Uh, but they still need to work on that a little. They did darken, in my opinion, the... Um, and I know Battlefield did the same thing that will be coming out. Um, they did darken the the color of your enemy, so <coughs> and of you also. So if you're blue, you're gonna see blue really, really well. And if you don't see, um, if you see red, you're gonna see it really well. But they still have some stuff that they have to fix in terms of that. The worst thing in multiplayer that they have not fixed by far is the fact that they are still spawning people right in front of enemies. They're still spawning people next to two, three enemies. They're still spawning people um, on the same side as the enemies. Um, you keep seeing that. That was a problem in the beta. That's something that they didn't seem to address in the final game. <coughs> so, I'm gonna take a look at this. There's something that they do here that I really do like at the end of each match. Um, no, I will not be playing Warzone because that is not Call of Duty, that is Warzone. Warzone is a game of its own, it's not Call of Duty. And plus is boring as shit. I like this whole thing here. Not only do they show the last kill, but they go for MVP. And they show three MVPs for the teams. And then the people get to vote for it. So I was lucky enough here. <coughs> To get the most volts and what that does is that gives you a little bit of extra xp not much but a little bit this right here i don't know what's going on with that i'm not ranked at that so i have no idea what's going on <coughs> i'll show you what my ranking is i think i'm at 17. so we're gonna go over to the guns um but first, you can see standard, you know, kill streaks. <coughs> um, nothing too big or different from other games in the past. Um, this game doesn't give too much more to giving you anything new in the game. Uh, I'm trying to get her right now. Um, which is weird because I, I had more than that in the game. I started with three and I only got two in the game. So I don't know what the hell happened there. <coughs> so you have your standard, you know, Team Deathmatch, Domination, Patrol, Western Front, Champion Hill, which I don't know what those are, but I don't care because I am a Team Deathmatch guy. I don't like doing, sometimes I'll play Domination if it has to be a challenge. Sometimes I'll play, you know, Kill Confirmed, stuff like that. If there's a challenge that needs to be met. <coughs> but I'm, I'm strictly just Team Deathmatch. Let's take a look at the weapons. This is something different. Uh, each weapon, like I said in the beta, one of the things I did like is that you do have the ability to put 10 attachments on any weapon you have. Um, so if your secondary weapon uh, can hold 10 attachments, you can have your secondary weapon hold 10 attachments and your primary hold 10 attachments. And of course, you know, the camos, which I just hate because the camos are ridiculous. Um, I, I've heard people saying they're grinding for the 
you know, the camels. That's what they're doing. They grind it for the camels. They grind it for the cam It sounds like they're looking for pussy to get laid. Grind it for the cam. Really? I mean, I could care less about the camels. I really do. <clears throat> I mean, I really don't. So, you can see my LMG and its little nice presentation there. I'm going to spin it around for you guys when the presentation is over. <clears throat> <laughs> so you can see standard it is identical to one of the guns in battlefield five and four <clears throat> and it's almost identical to one of the guns actually it's identical to an lmg in modern warfare to 2019 so and they're already talking about modern warfare 2 that it's coming out next week um you know activision let that out and then of course there were leaks on what it is actually gonna be you have your standard stuff like your progression in your barracks customization and your record <coughs> nothing's changed there you do have your battle pass if you pre-ordered it you'll get um i think it's 15 skips you have your, your career. So with the battle pass, you get 15 skips, but that is towards Cold, uh, Cold War. And because Cold War is coming to an end. Uh, season one of Vanguard for the battle pass doesn't start until December 2nd. And <clears throat> that plays a major role in something that's in this game uh, that they came to the table with. Um, that I find hypocritical with some people because some of those people were hypocritical in terms of the fact that Halo is not coming out with a um, a co-op for the campaign and they're not going to have Forge at the beginning. But first, let me touch on this. The campaign. A lot of people don't play the campaign. They go and play Warzone or they play multiplayer. <coughs> If you're one of those people that play the campaign, wait till next year. The campaign is one of the worst that I've ever seen, not just in Call of Duty, but in a lot of video games, a lot of games, period. Um, people were upset that Battlefield wasn't coming out with a campaign. You know what? They could have completely skipped over this campaign. The four main characters that you see there are Vanguard. Those four main characters are Vanguard. That's who they are. Um, <clears throat> that's who they are. And I'm going to spoil it for everybody. Every single one of them survives. But there's a problem. At the beginning, they're doing a... You know, the guy's talking in the background, doing some narration. Talking about how he picked this one guy for his team. Um, he said they had one mission. And then at the end, they said they completed their mission, but there's more on the way. We were Vanguard. They didn't leave anything open. Every single character is not... Rem Every single character... There's nothing to invest in these characters. Nothing. They're not rememberable. You're not going to remember these characters, period. So if they ever show up in another game... It's not like you're going to automatically remember, oh, this person is in there. Maybe Lady Nightingale, which is the one back there, you might because of that sp specific name. But the campaign, I can tell you, I've been writing for over 30 years. And even if I tried to fuck this, uh, this, this up, even if I tried and I am published, even if I tried to fuck up that campaign on purpose, I couldn't do it. As far as zombies goes, I can't rate zombies. And I'm going to rate the campaign and multiplayer, but I can't rate zombies because right now the mode for zombies did not release in terms of the story with the game. Um, that will release on December 2nd or after when the battle pass starts. And there's supposed to be surprises and some other exciting things they say that are going to happen once they put the story for 
<coughs> zombies in the game. You can play zombies now and see how many you can kill, uh, stay alive, stuff like that, but there's no story to it right now, so feel free to go in, kill as many zombies as you want, um, or if you want to kill zombies, you can go to Back for Blood, that's just as good, but it has a story with it. Um, but you can go to zombies, and in the zombies mode, my son, who's going to be 21 on the 1st of December, he's been playing zombies on Call of Duty Forever. And when he tells me there are things that he does not like and things that he does like, then I know there's a problem. Because if there are things that he doesn't like and zombies in Call of Duty are his thing, um, and multiplayer is his thing, um, if he doesn't like zombies, certain parts of zombies, it's not something for him. So let me just get down to what I would rate this. <clears throat> zombies is going to be a... Uh, no rating because again they don't have everything in there so when zombies does have what they have in there when it comes out then I'll do a separate video for what zombies is like the campaign I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 and the only reason I'm giving it a 2 is because of the graphics the graphics in this game are absolutely insane they look great You'll notice one of the characters right away if you've ever seen Lord of the Rings. Uh, you'll notice the character right away. He played a hobbit. I'm not going to say who it is. Um, but that's the only reason why. The story is horrible. The acting is horrible, except for him. Um, the dialogue is bad. It's just a campaign that you'll forget about right after you're done playing it. You're not going to remember this campaign whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I didn't like the campaign for ghosts and that was better and the campaign for advanced warfare wasn't that great and i like that better this campaign horrible as hell um they are set in the world war ii era right after hitler's murdered but this whole fictional part of this game in this campaign makes no goddamn sense and it's just over the top you start with everybody at the beginning then they do individual stories for all four on how, why they're so good at what they are, why they're so good at being the specialist that they are. Then they come together at the end to finish the story off. And I believe it's about five hours. <clears throat> and it's not good at all. So skip the campaign. Hell, uninstall the campaign. Save yourself some space on your xbox your pc or your playstation or your series x and s or your playstation 5. save some space on your hard drive or your ssd and uninstall the campaign that's how forgettable it is <coughs> keep multiplayer keep zombies uh you want to keep zombies because you want to see what happens when uh the zombies storyline comes around so you definitely want to keep that in. <coughs> but get rid of that campaign, man. There's really nothing there. Unless you're looking for achievements, that's it. There's nothing else. Multiplayer. Now, if you looked, if you watched my um, first impressions of the beta, um, there was a lot of negatives. Not just by me, either. Other YouTubers, uh, other players, whether they were on YouTube, Twitch, whatever it may be. Um, there was a lot of negative things to this game and it was warranted because it was bad. Um, <clears throat> but they have made improvements. Sledgehammer did make improvements in the game. They still may need to make some improvements to multiplayer. And if they do that, then it could be just as good amount of warfare, um, right now it's it it doesn't look as good as modern warfare it doesn't look as good as call of duty cold war but the graphics are phenomenal um the gameplay is a lot better i haven't been bored there are 20 maps i haven't been able to be on all 20 yet but the ones i have been on uh some of them are good others are shit to the core i mean some that you really hope that you don't have to play on um, 
but don't quit the game. Um, so campaign, a two out of 10. I'm only giving it a two for the graphics. Zombies, I cannot at all, one bit. Give it a rating because it doesn't have everything complete. And what I can do is give you a rating for the multiplayer. If they fix the little things that need to be fixed right now, um, right now, I give it a 7 out of 10. That's just for the multiplayer. If they fix what little issues they still have, like spawning in front of an enemy or spawning into a group of enemies, then that rating will go up. And if it does, then I will do a video uh, on that or mention it when I do the video on zombies. <clears throat> Now, should you buy the game? In my opinion, because Zombies doesn't have everything in there right now, because the campaign is horrible, and all you have is multiplayer, which is good, I would tell you to hold off. Um, the game is worth the fun, but I would tell you to hold off until there's maybe sales. I mean, Christmas is around the corner, just because I don't think the $69 on a new gen on a next gen uh, system is worth just a multiplayer game. So I would wait until there's a sale. But other than that, it is a good game. If you feel like buying it now, feel free. You're going to enjoy the multiplayer. You won't enjoy the campaign. And you're going to have to wait for zombies. But other than that, if you are playing the game, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope you're having fun. I'm going to continue to play it, try and do what I can and let me know what you think of the game don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget the notifications button i'll see you guys later thanks for watching i hope this helped you out i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time